Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Manaima in Chiba Prefecture here in Japan and we're going to visit Ixbiari and have a look at one of their Harvest Moon beers. So for this one we're going to have a look at the Schwarz beer which comes in at 4.5% and it's rated quite highly, 86 overall on rate beer and 80 within the style so it should be a pretty good one. From what I gather, these guys have been improving their beer a lot in recent years and they're now quite highly regarded in the Japanese craft beer scene. Like many other breweries that you get in Japan, they brew beers in the German style. A lot of breweries brew Alt beers, Helles beers, Hefeweizen, and Schwarz beers and things like that. That's very, very popular in Japan. Casey and Eric over at Sotogami Akihabira, they've reviewed a few beers from this brewery. The Yuzu beer and also the Raspberry one as well. So make sure you check out their reviews. They've got a very nice channel. The link to their Facebook page and the channel is in the description below. And this is another beer, of course, that I bought from Asahiya Beer Store here in Taishibashi Yamaichi in Osaka. Really nice beer store. Koji, who's there, will help you out and knows a lot about his beer. So make sure you check out his Facebook page in the description below as well. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the video description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that I'll do from Harvest Moon Beer. This is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers, of course. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews, Reviews, do subscribe to the channel. If you want to see my Japanese beer reviews, go into the channel homepage and simply search Japan and they'll all pop up. And as always, to those of you watching in Japan, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. I know there's a lot of breweries here in Japan, but the language is just a little bit of a barrier, so your recommendations really would help. But anyway, to tell you a little bit about Ixbiari and Harvest Moon Beer. So Ixbiari is actually a shopping outlet village with cafes, restaurants and shops and everything like this but they also happen to have their own beer brewery and the home base as such for the Harvest Moon beers. The brewery is actually at Roti's House Restaurant, which is a rotisserie style restaurant within the shopping village complex. They've been brewing beer for quite a while and recently they've won a lot of awards actually. So the head brewer is Tomoko Sonada and is assisted by Torato Kazoya and Asahi Shibata as well. So Ixbiari is actually in Manaima in Chiba Prefecture near Tokyo. And this of course is the home of Disney World Japan. Very, very popular district actually. And if you go to the, the station for Disney World Japan you will actually find this brewery. These guys are on the fourth floor of the shopping complex, I believe. But the Ixbiari Mall is actually owned by the Oriental Land Company, who do also happen to own Tokyo Disney World. I think Ixbiari is a kind of a sister company of the one that owns the... Uh, the Tokyo Disney World. So this is kind of Disney beer actually, which is pretty cool. But just to list of the other beers you can get from these guys, there's the Raspberry and the Yuzu Ale, which are the two that Casey and Eric have reviewed. There's a Barley Wine, which is one of the seasonal beers. The Black Barley Wine and the Christmas Porter as well, all seasonal beers, but in their regular range, they have the Pilsner, the Pale Ale, the Schwarz, the Brown Ale and the Belgian Style Wheat. You get those five beers regularly and those are always available on tap in the restaurant. From what I understand, it is actually quite cheap to get a little taster set sees at the restaurant and you can try all of the different beers from the brewery so I will see if I can get there and try that for myself it'd be really nice to go there and see how it turns out but anyway let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself so I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one as I said this guy comes in at 4.5 percent you can see here it's one the silver award at the 2014 Mond selection, the world selection of course, there you can see there the Harvest Moon artwork and it's got the nice kind of the hot flower, I think it's a hot flower, the moon and things like that, it looks like a little theme park actually there, but you can see that is the Harvest Moon label and this is the bottle cap on this one. I think the colour changes depending on what beer you actually have here, but it looks very nice, as I say 4.5%, you can see there Mahima established in the year 2000. It actually didn't say on the website when the brewery was founded, so that's quite cool to know. So without further ado then, let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting here. This should be quite nice. So yeah, let's get this guy out and into the glass. As I said, these kind of German beer styles are very, very popular in Japan. There's a number of breweries who brew this sort of thing. So I'm interested to see how the Japanese beer 
the Japanese take on some of these German beer styles are. Of course, I've tried Fuji Sakura, who are another brewery that brew in this style. So to try another one of these should be really interesting. But as you can see, this beer is poured exactly as you would expect from a Schwarz beer. This one is a nice dark ebony rosewood colour. A nice finger of a frothy, kind of beigey tan head on this one. It looks nice. Some bigger bubbles in there as well. Some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there. It looks really, really nice. So yeah, everything you would expect from a Schwarz beer. No visible sediment. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see there's no transparency to it at all. But that's probably just because of how dark the beer actually is. So let's have a look at the aroma on this one then. So yeah, again, what you would expect. It actually smells quite sweet, to be honest with you. It's got quite a kind of rye bready malt base, I would say. On top of that, some sort of chocolate malt in there. Quite sweet chocolate, actually. You can smell some kind of toasted brown sugar in there. Definitely, but there's a little bit of a roasted, almost black malty character. Maybe just a little touch of coffee. But really, it's more about the breadiness, that rye bread sweetness, and also a little bit of caramel, but mainly a sort of milky chocolate in there. You can pick up all of these elements from this beer. It does smell quite nice and sweet and inviting. And of course, the aroma might change a little bit depending on what temperature you've got this beer at, especially with dark beers. As, the, uh, as you increase the temperature of them, of course, the malty character does tend to get that little bit more sweet and the beer gets that little bit thicker as well. But it smells really nice. There's a bit of earthy hop in there, maybe a little bit of grassiness too. As I said, this beer is brewed in accordance with the kind of German style, so you probably will expect some kind of German noble hops in there. But yeah, it has everything you'd expect. A bit of chocolate, a bit of caramel, and all of this sort of thing. Some noble hop in there too. But it smells lovely, so let's get stuck into this beer then. This is the Harvest Moon Schwarz from Ixbiari in Manaima in Chiba near Tokyo. Kanpai. <clears throat> That's quite nice. On first impression it comes in with quite a little bit of an attack with the carbonation. The carbonation is quite heavy on the first sip but we'll give it a few more sips and see how we get on with that. Especially important, of course, when you have a dark beer, sugar the beer around your palate and just let your full mouth adjust to the, the flavour of this beer. But the first impression I'm getting of this one is that it actually smooths out and becomes really quite nice and sweet. It's a very smooth beer, this, very drinkable. Yeah, no, that's a really nice beer. Very nice and very sessionable, I would say. So the middle of your palate is just blanketed with this kind of bready character. I talk about that quite a lot in my reviews, but you can really feel just a little bit of that nice kind of rye bready character just going right across the middle of the palate. The chocolate sweetness builds on top of that. Also some of the kind of toasted brown sugars in there, the sort of caramel flavour. It really does lean more towards the kind of uh, roasted side of things in this one rather than, rather than the, uh, the sweeter caramel, I would say. Yeah, I would stick with that. The kind of roasted sort of coffee malts, you can see them in the middle of the tongue. For, for me, this beer starts out quite sweet and then it just becomes that little bit darker and roasted as it moves into the aftertaste. It starts off with that sweet chocolatey note, some of the bready character in there and the caramel and then it just becomes that bit more bitter with the roasty kind of black malt and coffee things. There's almost a little bit of a kind of ashy flavour coming out of this one too, particularly in the aftertaste like I said. But yeah, that's quite a nice beer. Definitely good and definitely quite drinkable. There's maybe a little bit of a leathery taste in the sweetness as well. You can pick that up a little bit in this one. It's, it's quite nice. The, the flavour of this beer blends together really quite well, I'd say. So give it a go if you get the chance. And in the hoppy side of things, in the back corners of the palate, there's a little bit of that earthiness there. And it is actually quite bitter. And that goes well together with the sort of black malts and the roasted side of the beer. 
the flavour blends together really well, but as you come further forward, the earthiness really smooths out there, and there's maybe just a tiny little bit of grassiness as you go around the front curve of the palette there. But this one, as I say, it has everything that you'd expect of the Schwarzbier. What's different is a little bit into the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel just feels a little bit different from the German uh, Schwarzbiers that I've come across before. But yeah, this is a really nice one actually. The, as I say, it starts off sweet, then it just goes to be a bit more bitter, and then it kind of smooths out again. It's, it's nicely done actually, so I would recommend this one if you get the chance. That kind of earthy, roasty character is what's lingering there into the aftertaste, and the hops just smooth out quite nicely. So in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, I'd say it's light to mid-bodied, it's probably fair to say that. The carbonation feels a little bit heavier to me. The carbonation does have a good little bit of a prickle, and that kind of stays with this one. Maybe it smooths out as I finish the beer off, but for me the carbonation has a little bit of a prickle there. It starts off quite sweet in the malt base, like I was saying, then it becomes just that little bit drier. There's a bit of bitterness from the hops, but otherwise it's quite smooth in there as well. But overall, it's a nice blend of flavours, and... Overall, it, it really does deserve the rating it has in Rate Beer. 85 is probably a fair go for this one. It's, it's a nice beer, it's nice and sestable, and it's got that nice kind of smooth German mouthfeel to it. So yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to drink this one again. If it was available on tap, I'd definitely give it a go. But I'd love to try some of their other beers as well and see how those turn out. So yeah, if you enjoy a Schwarz beer and you want to see some of the, the Japanese takes on the German styles, then Ixbiari's Harvest Moonschwarz is a pretty good one to go for you. If you like your sort of roasted, black malt, ashy sort of things with your Schwarz beers, then this is the sort of one you're going to enjoy. If you want something a bit sweeter, then maybe you should look at something else. But overall, quite a nice beer and I definitely would drink it again. So yeah, um, as always, if you have tried this beer for yourself, do let me know your own thoughts on it in the comment section below. Do let me know your favourite beers from the Harvest Moon beer range as well. Always interesting to hear about that. Hopefully I can review some of the seasonals like the Yuzu beer and maybe one of the barley wines as well. I'd love to have a look at that. But until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know your thoughts on this beer and the brewery of course. And until the next time, please check out all the social media. Like, subscribe, share all the usual YouTube stuff. Make sure you go and check out uh, Casey and Eric at Sotogami Akihabira and Asahiya Beer Store. Really nice places. Until the next time, slander just now and I will catch you soon with more beer reviews. Really cool to be doing some of these Japanese beers. Slander just now.